Hello again everyone and welcome back to Oblivion. We are back here in the Imperial City which is still recovering from the uh, attack by Mirin's Dagon and his Daedric armies. Uh, but uh, we are now going to go to the Shivering Isles. Uh, about to, There's a doorway that's open in Niven Bay down here. Yep, certainly has. So if we go to Bornwatch Camp and we make our way to the door from there, we should have full health and stuff by the time we get here. Yes, we do. We're fine. Do, does anything need, need repairing? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, last episode was certainly an intense one. Martin Septim sacrificed himself to, uh, to summon the avatar of Akatosh, who defeated Mirun's Dagon in combat, but then that left Martin... And, well, the Avatar Ragtosh immobilized in stone. But I tell you what, we'll say immortalized in stone as well. Um, in the middle of the Temple of the One. Uh, it, it's certainly a, a worthy a worthy sacrifice and, and a beautiful sort of iconic image, I think. Um, but now, our pressing matters is we are going to go to the Shivering Isles. Because we have a strange door over here, which is a which has appeared, and we need to go to it and see what's beyond the door. I don't remember that much about the Shivering Isles, to be honest with you. I, I remember the odd the odd bits. I, I know that it's Shiagorath's realm, uh, which is and it's absolutely bonkers because Shiagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness, isn't it? So, um, so yeah. Let's see what we're dealing with. There is one guard stood outside the door. Can't talk now. That door has been making noises again. No telling what's coming out. Guys, Prentice, okay. Right. Madness. Why? Why? Everything is wrong. It can't be done. Stay away from me. I won't go back. You can't make me go back. I'll kill you all. You're all going to die. I guess we should fight this guy. I'll tell you one thing, he's got a lot of health. There's a Khajiit running around like an absolute lunatic. Well, that was fun. Where... where did... Unworthy, unworthy, oh. Unworthy. Useless mortal meat. Walk in. I'd stay back from that door if I were you. Nothing that's gone in has come out right. Strange door. I don't know where it came from, and I don't want to. Those who've gone in have come back out wrong. I'm just here to warn folks to stay away. <laughs> Look for yourself. Their brains are addled. Got no sense. Perfectly normal people went in there. And this is what's come out. Well, it is Shigarath. I'm going in. Ha! It's your funeral. I'm just here to warn people, not keep them out. Go ahead in. I'll be here to clean up the mess when you. I am the champion of Cyrodiil, you know. I, I can, I can deal with this. Also, Shagarth was talking to me there, and um, yeah. A nice effort, though. Shame he's dead. <laughs> These things happen. Bring me a champion. Rend the flesh of my foes. <clears throat> To wade through the entrails of my enemies. Lovely. No, go away. I'm not here. <laughs> I'm not here, of course you're not. Really? Do come in. It's lovely in the aisles right now. Perfect time for a visit. <laughs> okay, I'll come in then, I suppose. So this is the fringe. Test those who wish to enter the Shivering Isles. Oh, hello. I don't remember this, but I'll, I'll sit down. Hello there. Yes, what can I do for you? I imagine you're here about the door. They really improved the voice acting as well in, in this in this one, didn't they? they? They clearly got some different actors in. Yes, you have entered, and now you are here. Amazing. Truly. Who are you? I am Haskell, 
Chamberlain to the Lord Sheagorath. What is this place? You approach the Shivering Isles. Through the door behind me lies the realm of Sheagorath, Prince of Madness, Lord of the Never There. Why did that door appear in Cyrodiil? Because my lord wills it to be so. It poses no danger to Mundus. No compact has been violated. It is a doorway, an invitation. Perhaps you would <clears throat> accept it for what it is. Oh, I'll accept any, anything at this point, to be honest. The people outside? They entered this realm and were ill-prepared. Their minds are now the property of my lord. That's a... How can they be cured? Cured? You speak as if they are diseased. They live now in another state of being. Perhaps it is you who needs a cure. Charming. I, I, I've needed a cure for a lot of things during my time in Oblivion, but I don't think this is one of them. For you? I do not know. My lord seeks a mortal to act as his champion. As for his intent, to attempt to fathom it is a foolish endeavor. His will is his own. His reality follows suit. You are here because you chose to enter. You were not summoned. What happens now? You do as you will. You may leave the way you entered. Your life will be none the worse for your time spent here. Or you may continue onward through the door behind me. If you can pass the gates of madness, perhaps the Lord Sheogorath will find a use for you. Who is to say? There are always choices to be made. The realm of madness is no different in that regard. Your choices are your own. Enter or do not, but make your decision. I have other duties to which I must attend. Speak with me again when you have made up your mind. The anticipation is almost too much to <laughs> You're not being sarcastic in the slightest, are you? The madness of Pelagius? Huh. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll do it. Yes. Fine. Why not? Sure I've got nothing better to do. Assuming you ever manage to see him, you'll want to pass through the gates of madness. Oh, and mind the gatekeeper; he dislikes strangers to the realm. Enjoy your stay. Thank you, Haskell. Whoa. That's weird. Cool, but also very weird. So this scenery is almost like a blend of Oblivion and Morrowind. It's got like the col the colour the colourness, colourfulness of uh, Oblivion, but then also like the sort of weird like fungi thing look about it. Uh, you know that Morrowind had. I've entered the Shivering Isles in order to find the Lord of this realm. I must first pass through the Gates of Madness. Okay. Right. Let's press on then. There's a cave here. That I am. I'm already excited. Already very excited. Blister pod. Alright, it's one. There's a fort as well. Ah, oh, there's everything here. Ah, uh, enemies. A Grumite Painbringer. Tell you what, I... This is... It's a new enemy type. You, can, you can't argue with that, can you? Madness Ore. So, th so there is plenty of different uh, items and enemies and stuff in this area, which is cool to see. We'll press on down the road. How big is this, the fringe? I tell you what. <laughs> uh, it's not that big, the fringe itself, is it? It's kind of small in stature compared to, well, compared to the, you know, Shivering Isles as a whole. It's a reasonable size, but not massive. I don't know why I healed myself there, I'm already at full health. But, uh, so this is Shedderfen. I can't remember if the dungeons are too different than this either. There might be. I would like to think they are. Nothing interesting there, nope. Oh, 
Oh, hello there. Grumite Death Dealer. That's a lovely name. Oh, these enemies are tricky. When I say tricky, they've got a lot of resistances, I can see. And they can heal themselves as well. Fantastic. That's, that's really what you want to really what you want to see. Yeah, these these guys are gonna be annoying. I can see these guys being si similar-ish to Goblin Warlords, you know. Not gonna have the most fun fighting them, I don't think. The fact they've got shields as well is annoying. It's frustrating, I tell you that for one. The Painbringers are less, uh, sort of, formidable. Oh, good god! A Ballywog! Venomous Ballywog as well. Yeah, the death the death dealers are definitely the ones who, who, who are going to chunk the damage, I think. Right, seriously, I don't think that you should be able to block block a heavy sword swing with your with your arms, but it, you know it's fine. Okay, separation, gold lockpick, and madness ore. Gromite dagger. The Gromite daggers aren't very valuable, so I'm not gonna bother taking them. It, again, it's, I, I do like that there's a whole load of new items and equipment and aesthetic in this place. It's it's good. It's not just all all, all a rehash, you know. Right, I'm gonna assume that's all the enemies in this area dealt with. Well, outside anyway. Is, is there an interior to this place? There must be an interior, surely. Although the, the exterior is quite big. Ooh, can we sneak up on this guy? He's a pain bringer, so that's not too bad. Cleaver. Lockpick, thank you. Yes, there, there must be an interior, because there's a big door here, so... Wooden door to Shedderfen. Shedderfen has become home to a tribe of Grumites, it said there. I, I couldn't read the rest, unfortunately. So again, you can see that this is definitely a different aesthetic to what we're used to. It's a dead body wog. I'm imagining the dungeons in the Shivering Isles are going to be more few and far between, but maybe better detailed? I want to say I, I could be wrong, but that's that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Ooh, there's a weird wisp in the air there. That's odd. Oh, there's the grumites. It's a hard chest here. As we all know, I do I do enjoy a good hard chest. Well. There's a pain bringer and <laughs> Are these guys signing up for the synchronized dance classes there? That that was almost impressive. Let's keep on these guys. There we go. We got him. Is the shield any good? No, not really. Uh, cure poison. Can you go through these doors? You can. It's a very, it's, it's a very hard lock, but obviously we are more than more than well equipped now to uh, deal with these. Hmm. Okay. Let's not go through there just yet. Want to kind of see what's in store for us back here first. <clears throat> so there's a big crystal here, which we saw through those bars last time. Can we interact with it? No, we cannot. Ooh, Gromites. If we're lucky, we might be able to catch them off guard. 
is going to plod all the way through here. Oh, you're going to die. <laughs> See, that just shows like the, the difference of level and health compared between the uh, pain bringers and the death dealers. They're, um, they're not very, they're not even close, are they, to be honest. Right, so that's the whole of the sort of initial area dealt with, so let's go and see what's down those stairs that we unlocked before. Let's make our way down here. Oh, I didn't even see that, see that Ballywog there. That was lucky that he didn't spot me. What's that on the floor? Floor that Why is there a diamond just sat on the floor? It was, it was very out of place there. Right, I gotta say that there, there must be enemies in here. It's far too big of a room. Ooh, a Grumite Mage's pain bringer. So that's like the the mage of the Grumites, is it? I'm guessing. Madness ore deposits. We'll take it. I'm assuming madness ore. We can. Is that for burden? Yeah, sure. I'm assuming we, we, we can use the Madness Saw for something. Again, I, I don't remember that much about how the Shivering Isles operates. What on earth was that noise? Well, it's a dead Gromite again. Take all that stuff. Yeah, again, not sure what that noise was a second ago. I don't know if that was just a Grumite making angry growling noises, but... <laughs> Didn't sound like a pleasant noise. That's for sure. One more Ballywog. There's a couple of big doors here. Where's this go? Shed and Fane. Okay, there's the, 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 there's there's a side area back here though, so we'll we'll we'll, we'll just check that out. At least I thought I, at least I think there was a side area. It looks like there's a side area on the map, but uh, perhaps not. This is it on a different level. I don't know. I can't seem to figure out how to get around there, unless unless that's the way we're gonna. There's a side area back there as well. Oh no, we, we, we went down here, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so that side level over there, the side area down here, I have no idea about. I mean, potentially, it might it might be unlocked afterwards. Maybe we have to go around and unlock the wall? I don't know. But I guess the only thing we can do is to go into the fane. Not the high fane, just the fane. All right, you Gromite sod. <laughs> He's trying to drop kick me. That's fantastic. I think there's like a mod for 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 Oblivion, which if you go into like third person, it changes all your uh, melee, like hand to hand attacks into like capoeira kicks and martial arts moves and. That is basically what that Grumite just, uh, just, just, just pulled off there. It's, it's impressive. Oh, you're draining my strength, are you, you bastard? Not for long, you're not. There we go. You are not dragging me down to your level. Nothing there. It's a bollywog. A ballywog, I should say. Pay and bring it. This guy should go down easy enough when I actually get the chance to get a few licks in. There we go. Boom. Madness Bow Matrix. I found an unusual item called a Matrix. It looks like a mold of some kind and seems magical. I shall ask around. Someone in the Shivering Isles must know what this is used for. 
The quest is called the Antipodin Hammer. So, that's that's promising. We've got a madness ore deposit as well. Are these wisps sort of used to sort of indicate sort of interesting points? You know, like oh, points of interest to get to give it an actual turn. Let's kill this guy. It's a major death dealer. Damn, he 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 stabs fast, doesn't he? That was, that was lightning quick. Goodbye. There might be enemies down there, but they can't reach me yet, I don't think. It probably won't take them long before they are able to. Right, we, right, we can t take this guy out quickly enough, I think. Oh, there's a Ballywog as well. Kill the Ballywog. That's just a regular Ballywog. That one's not venomous. I uh, don't like fighting two of these guys at once. Are they both death dealers? No, one of them's a pain bringer. These are not easy to take out. They block really well as well, to be fair, the Gromites. Which some enemies don't. They're just jumping and slashing all over the place. Again, when they do it in sync, it's an odd sort of look, isn't it? The spectacle is what it is. Take all your madness or Again, I'm guessing I can use it for something. Right. Uh, with, with, withering Moon. That sounds uh, like a very interesting... Uh, piece of material. Let's get everything repaired again while we're here. We have we have another repair hammer which we can sell on as well. So what are we dealing with here? I think Oh no, that's that's not it at all. There is. Where did you come from? Were you, were, you, were you always in that corner? I just looked around there and I could not see you. Where did you come from? Oh well. He's dead now. That's the most important thing. Right, so there's this big, big door at the end here. I'm curious as to what this does. It, it opens automatically, which is nice. There's one. Let's grab my here. Gee whiz. Draining my strength again. He's smart, considering that that probably is my best attribute. However, it's not going to help him. There we go. A Madness Cuirass Matrix. There we go. So I'm guessing you can make unique items out of the Matrixes, which is is nice. Um, okay. So, I th so yeah, I think we've pretty much uh, investigated everything in this area now, haven't we? Yeah, I'm fairly certain we have. So we did, you know, we, we we did quite well. We got ourselves, got our hands on a couple of matrixes. We got um, we got plenty of madness ore. So overall, I think we've done we've done pretty well here. So I think on that note, guys, we are going to end this episode here. Next episode, we shall exit uh, Sedafen and we shall explore the rest of the fringe of the Shivering Isles. So thank you very much for watching once again, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you all in the next episode of Oblivion. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.